Um, if I could just follow up on two of your toppers, yeah. uh, first on the uh, abortion access <coughs> uh, rulings today. Um, not much is going to change with the shape of the courts immediately after November. So what, what other avenues can the administration pursue yeah. in the little time that you have left? As you know, when uh, Roe v. Wade was uh, originally overturned because of the Dobbs decision that was done more than two years ago, the president and the vice president uh, took action. The president on that same day uh, made, announced some executive actions that he uh, was moving forward with, obviously, with the whole of, of a government approach here. Uh, and so we've taken actions. We've taken this very seriously. I don't have anything to preview, preview to you right this time at, the, at this moment. But we're going to take this very seriously, as we have, as we have uh, for the past two, two years. And look, it is important. It is important for um, people to be very aware of what's at stake here. Uh, it is important for us to continue to voice uh, what we're seeing here, women being denied care and their lives putting, being put at risk. Uh, and so we're going to continue to fight. As you know, there's EMTALA. There's other measures that uh, the uh, DOJ uh, is using to protect doctors and also women who are looking for that care that they should be making about their own body themselves. And we're going to continue to call out these extreme agendas that we're seeing uh, from, from the other side, from Republicans. Look, uh, we're going to don't have anything to preview today, but it is important to call this out. Uh, it is important to say how dangerous this is uh, and how this is a freedom that has been taken away from women. I just uh, follow on um, storms. Um, what's the confidence that FEMA is prepared to handle what could be two major disasters um, at the same time? And can you talk a little bit more about what's, what they're doing specifically yeah. with Milton while they're still um, handling Helene? Yeah. And then finally, um, there was a report, I believe it was NBC, um, just as we were coming out, that um, um, Governor DeSantis is <coughs> dodging calls with um, Vice President Harris and President I Biden. Is that an issue? So is, is politics starting to sink into this? I mean, that's really for the governor to speak to, right? I, we've, I, you've heard me mention, I believe, in the gaggle last week when we were heading to Florida and Georgia, we invited the governor right, to come and survey the damage areas with the president. Obviously, we were in Florida. We invited uh, the, the governor of Florida uh, to come. It was his decision to, to, not, to not attend or not be there with the president. Uh, the president has reached out uh, around Hurricane Helene. He reached out. It is up to the governor. It is really up to the governor. We know, I can say, and I think you've heard this from uh, the FEMA administrator, she has been able uh, to, to speak with the governor. She spoke with him yesterday in regards to Milton, uh, that hurricane coming shortly. And so we have been in touch with state, uh, state and local officials uh, we, in order to be able to help uh, the people of Florida. Uh, who are dealing, who are going to be impacted, who were, who were impacted certainly uh, by Helene, uh, and we're going to continue to uh, certainly preposition on the ground, and we're going to support. We're going to support the communities uh, with whatever and whatever they need uh, and when, whenever. That is our commitment. That is our commitment uh, to uh, the folks who are going to be impacted. So we've been in touch with state and local officials in Florida, and we're going to ensure that we meet in advance uh, what their needs are going to be. Uh, and, FEMA's, and FEMA's on the ground supporting that, supporting that. So that's important. It's up to the governor. It is up to him. Uh, we are doing our part. Uh, in, in the Biden-Harris administration, working, obviously, FEMA's work is on the ground, all hands on deck, whole of government, robust uh, uh, approach here. And so, again, that's for Governor DeSantis to speak to. Is it, but is it accurate that the President and Vice President have made outreach operators and we, they I mean, have not you, been you answered? Have, you, you've asked us. We have made outreach and regarding, certainly, uh, Hurricane Helene. Uh, and as I mentioned, uh, the good thing is the FEMA administration, administrator, pardon me, was able to connect with the governor uh, yesterday. I think that's important. But look, we're going we're gonna to do the work. We're going to continue to talk to local and state officials. Uh, that is important as well. We're going to pre-position as this hurricane, Hurricane Milton, is com coming, uh, coming towards, uh, as, it, as it seems, uh, towards uh, Florida. Uh, category 5, that's nothing to joke about. That is very, very serious. And so we're taking this serious, as the president has done many, many times when we've seen these types of um, storms coming, uh, coming our way.
So we're going to do our job, do our work here. Go ahead.